Howdy, folks. Good morning. It's Dr. Jeff Camarda, and uh, I want to, I guess, to let you all know, first of all, that uh, you may have noticed I was a little off my feed on the, the most recent videos that I prepared for you. I, I think I probably suffered a, a bout of COVID. Don't really know. I couldn't get a test or, or find getting tested anywhere or, or get a take-home test, so I kind of just... Uh, uh, blustered through it. I'm feeling much better now, but it did uh, put a, a divot in my uh, early January game plan. Anyway, I'm back. Um, I, so I just wanted to give you, you know, a couple of update things. First of all, um, the inflation is really starting to rage and affecting costs across the board, including our labor costs and professional costs and so forth. And uh, um, this, it, it will still won't affect the investment advisory business, uh, but it will have an impact on tax master in terms of cost of tax prep and, uh, um, and estate planning and trust and asset protection and so forth. So nothing is on the horizon now. Um, we're not penciling any uh, cost increases or price increases in, but we may need to consider that later in the year. So this is just a suggestion to all of you that have not done an estate planning review or an asset protection review or if you, you know, we suggested changes to your trusts or your, your business structures or asset protection structures that you haven't taken advantage of, um, this is a good time to consider engaging there and uh, seeing if it makes sense at, at the old pricing, which we'll honor for quite some time, uh, particularly as tax season is just going to start to ramp up now next month and, and really get crazy in, in, in March and April. This would be a good time for you to consider that if that's important to you. The second thing I want to talk about is uh, what's going on investment-wise. And I've got to tell you, I really, really am so gratified and proud of our team, the PWA team and the Portfolio Board, and Jonathan and Kim just doing a great job that uh, um, our investment methodology and I think results have improved dramatically uh, since, uh, since 2020. Um, just really, really starting to, to look very attractive. We had a board meeting just last week and I was very impressed. Uh, by the um, the portfolio performance number, so I'm really excited about that, and I just look for much better things going forward. So I did want to share that thought with you, even though it's a week old. Um, and uh, so now to the news of the day, and I'm quoting partially from a Wall Street Journal article uh, that was uh, that I read probably at uh, I don't know six thirty this morning or so. Um, and this, I'm gonna get my little silver here, okay. And the headline is: Giant stock swings kick off twenty. 22. Hundreds of U.S. listed companies are off by more than 20% from highs. Many are in a bear market. Boy, that's uh, the, that's kind of sobering, especially when the drumbeat of a record high seems to continue on the uh, on, uh, on the financial media. So I'm just going to read a couple of things here and then give you my surmise of it. U.S. stocks are off to a rocky start in 2022. Under the surface, things are even more volatile. More than 220 U.S. listed companies with market capitalizations above $10 billion. These are big companies, right? Not small caps on the fringe and not like a crush in a recession. These are big companies. Down at least 20% from their highs. While some have bounced from their lows, many remain in bear market territory, including S&P, BMS, Walt Disney, Netflix, Salesforce, and Twitter. The tech-heavy uh, NASDAQ composite has been particularly turbulent. Around 39% of the stocks in the index have at least halved, have at least halved from their highs, according to uh, Jason Gopert at uh, Sundial Capital, uh, while the index is roughly 7% off its peak. So the, the index is down 7 but but almost 40% of the stocks are down hugely. At no other point since at least 1999 around the dot-com bubble have so many NASDAQ stocks fallen that far when the index was this close to its high. The sell-off in many individual stocks highlights how shaky the stock market's 2021 has begun. Uh, U.S. stocks last week posted a second straight weekly decline, dragging the S&P 500 and NASDAQ down um, uh, 2.2 and 4.8 percent respectively. To start the year, some stocks and, and sectors have moved down even more dramatically. Uh, and I'm looking at this graph, which I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm too tech illiterate to share with you. But it's really, you know, showing names like uh, Intuit, eBay, Netflix, Salesforce, Match Group, Paycom, and SD, is that E-T-S-Y-S-D, um, down like this. I mean, it's, I did, when I first looked at it, I thought it was an error in the software, not a graph. Um, so that's uh, um, that many investors have been positioning for the Federal Reserve ship to rising interest rates this year, sent Treasury yields to the highest level since 2020, while bond prices have tumbled, rippling across the market. 
And a turning point, traders said, is when the Federal Reserve in November warned of higher monetary policy ahead, abandoning the notion that the current bout of inflation would be short-lived, something I've been predicting for probably a year and a half now. Um, and uh, so that'll, uh, um, that, you know, I'm not going to uh, continue on with all of this. So if you want the article, uh, let me email me and I'll, I'll, I'll dredge a copy out for you. But the point is that, you know, as, as we've been concerned about for a long time, the market is, is very, you know, it's, it's very bubbly and frothy and elevated and I think quite overvalued and built on foundations of sand not rock, and sooner or later we will see a very dramatic plunge. I'm not predicting this as the beginning of it, uh, though it certainly is uh, you know, a tremor that uh, we want to pay attention to, uh, but the, uh, um, the, 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 the concern is that sooner or later stocks pretty much across the board probably will um, suffer some pretty significant declines, which is again why tying it back why I'm so proud of Kim, Kim and, and Jonathan, who are you know really, really you know adept market technicians, chart watchers and analyzers, and they watch this stuff pretty darn near every day um, with their hand on, or finger on the trigger, ready to make surgical changes in order to preserve your capital and uh, and, and soldier us through what eventually would be a pretty bloody period. Um, and I'm really, you know, excited about that. I'm not excited about the fact that the U.S. market, I think, is is um, is eventually going to tumble. But I'm very excited about what our trading methodology will do for you in, uh, as investors, and not only to preserve your capital, but to expand it even during the dark times, which is our intent. So uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you uh, so much uh, for listening. And again, I'm sorry that I've been uh, out and a little bit bleary over the past couple of weeks. And also, finally, please, guys, look, you know, I know you all got a book, and I thank you profusely for those of you that were kind enough to take just a moment and go to Amazon and pen a review. But please do that. It means so much, not just to me. I, my royalty, I don't know, is a couple of dollars. Uh, good morning, Dylan. A couple of dollars off to the office now before he goes to business school next year. That's my boy. Um, that royalty is only a couple of dollars a piece but makes uh, such a difference uh, um, that your review does to those that are considering getting this to protect their family as well. Not everybody uh, can be a Camarda client. Um, the, we don't certainly can't accept everybody or don't want everybody and, and, and other people you know, have other agendas, but they can all benefit from the information in this book and I hope that you will help us um, uh, share it with them by uh, um, giving a review about whatever you think. You think, you think it sucks? I think it sucks, but uh, I think... Uh, I hope you don't. Know. Anyway, thanks so much uh, for uh, suffering through all of that. Until next time, it is Dr. Jack Water signing off for the nonce on this fine, fun, and sunny January, chilly, but sunny January morning here in Little Orange Park, Florida. Bye-bye.